Hey YouTube, it's Ariel here, arielphoenix.com and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three free keyword grouping tools that you can use along with anything like Keyword Sheeter, searchresponse.io or any keyword method that you have that you use to harvest a bunch of keywords. This will just help you group them and help you plan your content better. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so I'm gonna put in a seed keyword here just so we can get a bunch of keywords to work with and group. And I'll just do, let's say, I don't know, maybe dog training. I should, I could have just done dog. Maybe I'll do dog because keyword sheet is gonna give me a bunch of stuff. Let's go. So I'm gonna let keyword sheet do its work. But for me personally, I've not been checking search volume as much lately. I've just been finding keywords, clustering them and doing what makes sense. So even if there is zero search volume, which I've had a lot of success with Google auto suggest that don't typically have a search volume sometimes they show nothing but Google is offering them so I've had quite a bit of success with those zero search volume keywords but just in general if you're if you know your niche already and you find a keyword and it says that there's only 10 monthly searches or zero monthly searches that is a topic that people would ask it's a popular topic or it's something that you just want to have on your site anyway then you should obviously go for that keyword despite what the search the keyword tools might say is the search volume so rather than just making posts based on that one keyword with zero search volume a better way of doing that is to gather all the keywords around that topic and make a post including those search terms and this is a really good way to do it because you harvest all your keywords you put them in a keyword grouping tool and then you cover them all so the keyword grouping tool could give you a group of 10 15, 20 different keywords that multiple show low search volumes, but people are obviously searching them. So, all right, I'm gonna stop it now because a thousand is more than enough. Stop. It's giving some crazy stuff. I can see dog breeds as a keyword cluster. Let's see, let me just copy that. Don't need to take it as a sheet because the first tool I'm gonna show you is all the links are in the description so don't worry about that keyword grouper pro which is actually marketbold.com i think they're working on a bunch of different software and programs and apps so i don't know what you call them web apps the other one is seo scout and they do have a pricing structure but they have a free trial i don't think it's a free trial i don't know what the paid one has to offer but this is free so you can put your paste your list of keywords in here like I've done automatically it starts to group them so less than a second it's grouped them but I think you can go in and, and change it up a bit or maybe that's a different tool they think I'm leaving so they've said nope give me your email address keyword con contadu contadu do they want me to where is the oh, okay you have to select a side keyword to predefined groups okay so you can it can either make the keyword groups for you or you can give it groups that you want it to group your keywords into but I want it to do the groups for me I, I have no idea where to go with it and I like this tool because you can I shouldn't be bouncing across tools but this one to just be clear this is Contadu link in the description of course but this one you can say how many keywords you want in the cluster. You want to select the, the, the language and preferred number of keywords to cluster. So I think I'm going to use a smaller cluster, maybe something like 25 keywords. I don't know what it's going to do with the other keywords, but let's just let's give it a go. See how long it takes. Wow, that was quick. So out of those 1000 keyword words, keyword words, keywords, it's made 26 keyword groups and you can export that as a CSV or you can just see it here, copy and paste it into whatever you're working on. 
So you don't get to, it did give you the option to select your groups if you wanted to, but it's made its own groups. So dog X, dog X, dog X-ray, sailed near, it's grabbing my location. It's not set to US, so it's just grabbing, I'm in the Midlands, so it's just grabbing Birmingham and Coventry. But yeah, dog trusts, dog trust. And it looks like it's grabbing everything in the UK. Dog breeds. But yeah, it just helps you sort your keywords and, and helps you plan. Let's go to another tool. This one is SEO Scout. I've put it there. It's already grouped it. It's made slightly different groups. So maybe you'd want to try all of them or, or um, uh, multiple ones because they, they do make different groups. Yeah, English. Prim oh, I can actually put my primary keyword so it doesn't group it based on so if it, if it it could have grouped everything and say they they all have the word dog in common but that wouldn't be a very useful keyword group so you can let's see let's what's one that's just got an insane amount okay those are useless what i need one that's got a big group but it's done quite well dogs okay no I don't have an example now. That sucks. Yeah, because they've done really well with how they've sorted this. Trust rehoming, sausage dogs. It's, it's done the work. It's done the work. SEO Scout, this is looking like my favourite one. I was going to go in, you can go in and fine tune it. So you could have put, if you had a bunch like dog for sale and there were loads of different countries that that's not obviously a useful cluster because you couldn't put them all in one post so you probably you probably exclude this entire keyword dog for sale and then it would have to find another way to group them but it's done well because it's done it properly it says sale coventry it didn't group them by dogs for sale so really good tool might look at their pricing and see what they actually what they offer because their free tool is quite good <laughs> Keyword group well, this is um, the first one I found. I'm going to put the same group, the same the thousand keywords, and you can do the excluded words as well, which is good. You can do a bunch of them. And you have to set the, you can't process the keywords until you set the minimum group length. I'd say 25 again. Process keywords, see what it does. Oh, it was more than I thought I had a thousand keywords. Two thousand. And yeah, it's done the same thing. Dogs for sale. So it's grouped it like that. Not like SEO scalp, is it called? Yeah. Dog. They've actually grouped. See, this is exactly, you'd exclude the word dog. So they'd have to find a different way to group them because dog is not if your if your niche is dogs then dog is not a good cluster <laughs> dog trusts dogecoin made its way in there and dog breeds and so on and so forth so less clusters it's actually it's done it's 25 okay six groups with 25 or more and then groups with less than 25 okay yeah so 25 or more, you'd probably want to have a limit because 211 is not a good cluster. It's just sorted the keywords for you, but that's not, yeah. This would be my best choice. If you're looking for a free keyword clustering tool, SEO Scout out of these three, no doubt, that's the one. Particularly because it just done so well within seconds at sorting these the right way dog years trust rehoming dogecoin elon and it's separate from because they could have just put elon as a, a, a topic but they've they've separated it although they are the same keyword clearly but yeah i think it's done a really good job let's see they got some other free tools quite a few free stuff here keyword grouping combiner Density tool, SEO content analysis, those are all under the free tool section. I'm not going to go check those out now, but it seems like a good site to check out. Pricing. Okay, this is not just clustering. This is, this is a whole 
keyword research tool but anyway that's it guys just wanted to share that method so links are in the description seo scout is my favorite one of these three but the links are in the description for all of them if you want to try them out but yeah that's it guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm also now tweeting more frequently that link is also in the description it's just twitter.com slash ariel cpx i believe so if you're on twitter you can catch me there and uh, yeah peace